If you were bothered by the brutal honesty of the first video and wish to be the change, this video is for you. In part one, we discuss the ill treatment of residents. Today, we look at solutions. Unions have been discussed time and time again. However, today we will give other options. Med School Insiders offers a great video that explains the pros and pitfalls of unionizing the medical force. I believe unions can be powerful and enable a healthy work-life balance through structure and reform. However, variations in medical training often conflict with the rigidity of union groups. Another solution is for hospital administrators to be held accountable for fair pay. Perhaps tying it to the revenue the program generates. This would incentivize high performance and discourage burnout. Residents could also receive fair hourly wages, including overtime compensation, covered parking, meals, housing, and loan repayments. Although some progressive residency programs do offer such benefits, there remains no national standard. With hospitals receiving funds from Medicare and residents grossing a net positive, there's no excuse for exploitation. Pay inequity during training should not be tolerated. Following residency to deal with debt, loan forgiveness initiatives can help by serving underserved populations, the armed forces, and other acts of service. Money does not buy happiness, but fair compensation and recognition for all the years of dedication and sacrifice do. In life, all we want is to be treated with respect. This includes fair compensation. The training is rigorous to create the best physician possible, and rightly so. However, those in charge should feel obligated to those who serve the community at the highest level. Corporate greed is at an all-time high. Unfortunately, this is no different at the level of hospital. If you wish to help, you can advocate to state and federal legislatures, engage with professional or nonprofit groups, and participate in public awareness through anonymous or public forums. Together, we can work towards fair compensation, improved working conditions, and a healthier future for those who dedicate their lives to the care of others. Thank you for your attention to this cause. To support more videos like these, follow, like, and share. Check out the Podiatrist to Be Foundation to donate. We greatly appreciate it. Thank you, guys.